Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially those old ways. Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I was recently given a large amount of of red peppers. What am I going to do with so many red peppers? Let's dehydrate some. So I got to work slicing them up. can see that I sliced them as thin as I could so that they would dry quickly. separate completely lay them out on your trays so they are barely touching and even though these were store-bought I went ahead and saved the seeds because you never know when you might need a few red pepper seeds and I can always use them in my garden to fill in extra little spots around the food forest. And even though they may have been hybrid, I know that they were organically grown and non-GMO. So I'm going to go ahead, save these seeds, lay them out individually to dry too. And I will have extra for my seed bank that I am slowly collecting. Won't take these long to dry. Just checking on them while I rotate the trays. So it's the next day and I have all of the red peppers done. Actually, it's been a couple days. I've got, this is a half gallon. I've got a pint in there. And then I have two quarts. I'm going to con consolidate those two so that's why I've got it like that um in the big jar but yes I'm so excited I've got red peppers I can use them for red pepper flakes I can use them for they won't be hot and spicy but they'll be mild pepper flakes or I can you know add them to my soups and stews and all sorts of things so I'm really really excited about having these and I'm going to be doing some more dehydrating videos because I like to run the dehydrator in the winter and it heats the house up. So thank you, Rebel Canners. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And we hit 4,000 subscribers. Thank you, each and every one of you.